the Joker, the Predator, Ben Affleck, and more. This week on Miscast Entertainment News. Woohoo! Yeah, I did you. that on purpose. You bastards. That was a fun one. <laughs> Here's Tony. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Get to the chopper! Stand up to my ear I'm gonna make him an offer again. This is Sparta! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Welcome back, you Miscast Miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment News with your amazing host, JJ. I made it. The magnificent Greg. Here. And moi, William Davis Moore. Together, we have a combined experience of 30 years or 30 plus years as film writers, film producers, film creators, film directors, Academy Award winners, cinematographers, and all around dorks. So that's why we're doing podcasts now. Yeah. Because we're so awesome. We're dorking it up. We're dorking we it have, up. We have all these amazing uh, <laughs> uh, uh, credits to our name. Actually, we're the, the normal kind of dorks that are just film writers, film critics, film uh, app producers, film book publishers, and local cinematographers. If you're new to the channel, then head on over to our channel and check out some of our past episodes so you can watch those and uh, yeah, get all caught up. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button and... Uh, Ring a ding that little bell right next to it so you get notified of all of our future episodes. So, JJ, what you drinking? What am I drinking? What are you drinking? Are you asking me what I'm drinking? Yes, I am. <laughs> Check this out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you almost got me. <laughs> you splooged. <laughs> I almost got caught in the crossfire. Mm. We are drinking this delicious <laughs> Cat 3 IPA from uh, Due South. Yeah, you guys are drinking that. Where's I have. South? The coastline lager also from Due South. Well, yeah, Due South is over here in uh, Boca, right? Oh, Delray Beach. Boynton Beach. Boynton Beach. One of these damn cities in the, in the Treasure it's Coast. It's in the same area. <laughs> I mean, if you know Florida, it's like that. they're all like neighbors. Right. They're all like... South Florida. Yeah, they're all like little cousins. Hence the name Due South. Yes, but this is very good. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of the, the Cat 3. Uh, the Cat 5 is very uh, potent, mm -hmm. but uh, Cat 3 is very smooth, and they come in these uh, nice little tall boys here. That's it. They're very colorful. Yeah. Very colorful and pretty intoxicating. I feel like I I'm drinking an energy oh, really? drink or yeah. something. Well, let's get intoxicated. I think so. <laughs> the alcohol level on this guy is 6.1. Oh, at least that's a lot better than last week. Yeah, last week got pretty blasted. <laughs> mine is only, mine's only four. These are perfect for 4%. the pool or yeah. like, you know, hanging around the, the park, <laughs> watching the kids and stuff, you know. Um, if, if you have kids in the park, not like if you don't have kids in the park. You shouldn't drink in kid. Right. Yeah. We don't recommend it. Right. So we try to drink local beers here on the show, and this is uh, All the time. another one. Yeah, this is one, one, one of the better ones, actually. Yeah. yeah, this actually has Florida right on the back. Yeah. Right. Look at that. From brewed in sunny South Florida. This is not... We don't get paid for this. Uh, this no. is just our own personal uh, support in our local breweries. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, All right. Greg, what do we got? All right. So Let's first, get into the news. First up, let me bring it up here, is the new Joker movie, Todd, directed by Todd Phillips. Of the Hangover, Old School, and Due Date. Ooh, know, that's so weird. All right, it's, it is kind of weird that he's directing a Joker movie. I like well, the Hangover. Yeah, and that's I'll, it. You, you don't like list. Old School? Ow! Oh! oh. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I like Old School. All Dude, right, there Old you go. School's the bomb. No, yeah, due Date. I, I enjoy Due Date as well. Anyway, so Joaquin Phoenix is playing the Joker. Yep. In this movie. Very strange um, as well. And earlier this week, or was it last week? I can't even remember right now. We got word that Alec Baldwin was joining the production as Bruce Wayne's father, Thomas Wayne. I can see yes, that. Yes, did. And he was going to be a, uh, uh, apparently the story is going to be he was a Trump-like figure, right? Uh, and then uh, about a day later, we got word that Alec Baldwin was dropping out of the production. I know. So and he said that 50 other guys could play the role or for some, or 20 other guys. 20 other, oh, yeah. excuse me. Hey, did get, so did you get hey. Trump to play the role? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, uh, he, he might Trump be, he might life. be up for it. He yeah. likes, he, you know, he likes, he loves him some him. Yeah. So I think Batman would lose a lot yeah. of people if Trump was his father. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> That'd be like Eric Trump as Batman. He's no, like greasy uh, ass. Trump, head. Like, Batman uh, would be the best, <laughs> the best. <laughs> He's the best Batman. Best, the best the deal ever in Gotham. <laughs> best guy. Good guy. Mm, he's fantastic. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, so William, I'll throw this one over to you. What do you What do you think about all this news here? You actually had some other 
news for this one. Yeah, too. I was roaming around the, the World Wide Web, and um, I was, some people were saying, I think that maybe on Collider, one of those guys was saying, well, they were at least discussing that um, that the reason that he dropped out was because peop- the, as soon as he dropped the news that he was going to be in the movie as Thomas Wayne, that uh, the internet went abuzz with, you know, he's going to be like the uh, uh, Type Donald cast? Trump. Yeah. Well, that, 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 that Thomas Wayne was going to be like a Trump type figure. Like because a, of his a Saturday Night Live was, appearances? No, I don't Alec think Baldwin. so. No, I think they just wanted to be like that because there's like a, a rumor going around that the prep spoilers, I don't know, maybe, but if potential. you don't want to know, potential spoilers, that uh, the premise of the movie is that Thomas Wayne has an affair with someone uh, during the course of the movie and then has a bastard child with that person, like Jon Snow, but Jon Snow turns out to be the Joker. And the Joker and Batman turn out to be brothers. Oh, so yeah, right. It is, I think it's a good. You know, it could. Cool it has idea. potential. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. I know you. <laughs> I hate that idea. I don't want okay. them to be brothers. But oh, as soon man. as it seems like too easy. Yeah, but it could have some good dynamics, and it, it's a good change to the all. You know, we've seen the story play out a million yeah, times. Yeah, exactly. This would be a, a so, different take on it. Right. Oh, it would be different, but it seems like almost too easy of a take on it to me. It, well, yes, I, I, I see where you're going with that. But but uh, on the other side, uh, Joaquin Phoenix is in it. And, you know, I don't really see him as a real Joker type. You know, he's really a, a really good. He's your Daniel, Daniel Day-Lewis yeah, of acting. Great rapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can wear a beard pretty good, too. Yeah, very, very nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Alec was like, dude, I'm sick and tired of being like Trump. <laughs> like, he, he likes to, th- he's just tired of it, I think. And, and what everybody's thinking is, he heard all the hype about, you know, always oh, not an- another Trump like figure, Alec Baldwin, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, screw this. 20 other guys could play this role. I don't need it. I'm out. Okay. And that was that. So, so that's that. That was that. No more. No Alec Baldwin in uh, the Joker. But movie. those are just rumors, guys. Like we only ever bring you rumors because we don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing about Alec Baldwin is, look, he's very likable. Yeah. But he doesn't sell a movie. You would you would never go to the uh, see the no. movie maybe not maybe not these days because Alec Baldwin is in yeah maybe not these no, days no. and Black Klansman the worst uh, scene in the movie in my opinion was his scene I yeah, didn't understand opening. it yeah. was insane okay like, all right well let's move on okay so the next thing is uh, new Predator trailer right dropped yesterday JJ yes um, and they did it right and uh, yeah okay so what yeah what are your thoughts on this well the, my thoughts on it is that they released a trailer a couple months ago mm-hmm. and everybody just shit on this trailer w- one of the things that i found interesting about the the old trailer is that the reason people hated it is because you have like olivia munn talking about what is this shit hybridization and upgrading planets and what? you're like science and you're watching this stuff like what the hell is this movie about you know and it was just like it was very like melodramatic and it made no one happy and the internet just kind of like blew up and said this movie's gonna pe- be a piece of crap right well just recently we got a brand new trailer they're large they're fast and fucking you up their idea of tourism and this trailer really is exciting it has like rap music and it has cool cuts in it and it shows like a lot more aspects of it. It doesn't show the, the stupid ass kid. It's very gory. Mm. Um, it's more action oriented. It feels more. What's the name of the, the, the writer for the Shane. movie? Shane. Uh, Black? Shane Black. The other day, I was going down to my girlfriend. I said to her, Jeez, you got a big pussy. Jeez, you got a big pussy. She said, Why did you say that twice? And I said, I didn't. See, it's because of the echo. With. <laughs> Director, it too. feels more like a Shane Black movie. There's a lot of yeah. like cool dialogue between the characters. Mm-hmm. And what's really cool about it is at the very end of the trailer, it has like that uh, in world guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, that kind of like yeah. ends oh, cool. like the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it gives it like a nice like kind of like retro vibe to it. And honestly, if if you watch this trailer now, and we'll put a link on it on the on the on the YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um it's it's just like a really exciting movie. So you're so now you're excited for it. I'm I'm super excited. Yeah. The problem is that I can't get that old trailer out of my head. I wish it didn't exist. Yeah. I wish I never saw yeah. it. I wish this would have been the first trailer I would have seen. Are you excited for this one, William? It's funny that you brought up that old trailer because the old trailer made me not give a shit about this new trailer. I've not watched it. Oh like, really? To me, in my brain, the Predator's ruined. Like I just want to forget all the Predators. From like two on, I like even two was a little bit weird. But since I was so I young, two. it's got a special place in my heart. Yeah, 
but um, I want I, I, I don't think we can recreate what happened with the first predator you know <laughs> uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm coming around to this movie I was uh, not very thrilled about it the, with the first trailer uh, I still can't get past the giant CGI monsters and uh, the predator dogs like they had in predators and this giant CGI predator so I don't know I, I have my uh, reservations about that but, but overall it looks this trailer makes it look better than the uh, the first trailer so it's worth a watch you're saying I'm listen I'm still gonna go see it it's a predator yeah I've been getting like I used to really really want to see trailers like really freaking bad but lately the trailers have been ruining the movies that's true yeah. really bad mm -hmm. like and sometimes the trailers <laughs> actually show you things to mislead you like they did in Infinity War with the Hulk that just screw with your head right and then you get disappointed so now I'm like ah, do I really you know that first trailer for the Predator was so bad that you know yeah I don't know that I want to I think I think teasers are the way to go yeah. Teasers are enough. Just give me a trailer should just say, OK, what is the style of the movie and what kind of where, where is the story going? And that's it. I don't want to see any of the jokes. I don't want to see any of the details. Just keep me, you know, don't 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 give up too much. Okay. Yeah. Give you the, like a little buzz. Like I need to get in there to see that. But yes. don't show me the movie, man. And, and, and that's the, for the reason. That's one of the reasons why I didn't watch it. But yeah. mainly because of that first trailer. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. So we're, I think we're probably all still going to go see it, but some of us are more excited than others, it seems like. So, all right. Next up is uh, Ben Affleck. Okay. So he's in the news recently. Went back to rehab. For, I didn't know that. Uh, for alcohol abuse. Let's have a drink um, to Ben Affleck. Yeah. Yeah, ben Cheers. Affleck, like, dude, hope you get better, bro. Get well I like soon. to pour it on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> You're not dead yet. Get well soon, Ben Affleck. Cheers. <laughs> so, uh, his uh, soon-to-be ex-wife, uh, Jennifer Gardner, they filed for a divorce in 2017, but it hasn't been finalized. Ended up taking, no him, taking him to rehab to get help for alcohol addiction. Uh, according to sources, he had been drinking alone for days. And when they found him, he was apparently ready to go. He was willing to go. He was wanting to go to rehab. He knew he had a problem. And uh, he knew he needed help. So uh, sources say he'd been struggling for months have been going to meeting, but have been going to meetings and so working with a sober coach. And uh, this is the second time he's in rehab. So uh, can I ask you something? Is there a stigma against drinking alone? Is that like a, is that considered well, a scummy for, thing for, to do? It used to be. Mm, for, it depends on how much. And if you're going for days at a time, if you're drinking by yourself, then you probably got a problem. Okay. You know, if you're sitting and having a couple of beers at home yeah. after a night, a night of work or whatever. Right. Then, that's okay. Yeah. I think you'd be fine. I think the stigma, in my mind, I don't give a shit what you're doing. The stigma is if you're fucked up and then you're an asshole. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, so, and there have been times where you, uh, uh, recently where you see Ben Affleck on, um, on certain um, talk shows or whatever, and he looked a little puffy or, you know, it didn't seem quite in his normal state of mind or a normal state of mind. So, yeah, hopefully he gets the help that he needs here. I hope so. I mean, um you could tell with the Batman stuff that it's getting to him. Like he went off of like the uh, best director of a, you know, he's the next upcoming yeah. like Steven Spielberg, and now he's like Batman. And everybody's shitting on everything he yeah. does. I would drink the shit too, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and, and those memes, the sad, sad Ben Affleck memes. Well, he did have that been brutal. Him, yeah, he did that to himself though. He sat next to Henry Cavill. And <laughs> he, he made he's that just, like, meme. Looking like sad. Yeah, he made it, man. Yeah. That, that he looked. He looked made me feel bad. <laughs> you know. It taught me not to do interviews with Henry Cavill where I don't say anything and they can lay Simon Garfunkel tracks over it. That's one thing I learned. And the vision that was planted in my brain. <laughs> all right, so so that's that. So we hope he gets help. Yeah, all right. I hope he gets all right. Next up, uh, First Man. All right, Ryan Gosling's uh, Neil Armstrong movie that's coming Oscar. out. Oscar. Uh, yeah, it's going to be Oscar bait. It's it looks, the buzz, man. It looks yeah. really good, and so uh, we're all excited for that one. You're down here and you look up and you don't think about it too much, but space exploration changes your perception. Um, so reportedly this movie leaves out the planting of the U.S. flag on the moon. And, uh, That's a bunch of... Why? Because they're going to play and, it in China. And people are a little upset about this. Some people are upset about it. I'm the, upset about that. Yeah, I'm pretty is, pissed so off So here's, here's a quote from Ryan Gosling. Uh, I think this is widely regarded in the end as a human achievement, and that's how we chose to view it. 
Uh, I also think Neil was extremely humble, Neil Armstrong, as were many of these astronauts, and time and time again, he deferred the focus from himself to the 400,000 people who made the mission possible. Um, also, the statement coming out was that they wanted to focus on the emotional uh, uh, hardship that these astronauts went through rather than the political propaganda machine to get to the moon first during their Cold War that this kind of was. The only reason, the only reason we made it to the moon is because the Russians wanted to get there and we said, we're going to beat those Russians to the moon. That is the only reason we went to the moon. If the, Ru if the Russians had never wanted to go to the moon, we would not even be at the moon yet at this point. Okay? We have to thank that battle. And the yes. fact that we did it, we did it as Americans. Yes, of course, we're all human beings. Right. I think that's, that's a beautiful thought. I'm not. But <laughs> yeah, we question that one. America, we did it. We got there first. We did it. We put our, and that to me is, is, is pride. Yeah. I'm, I'm extremely proud to be an American. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud of all the achievements that we've made in medicine and sciences. And uh, dude, that's, that's a part of history. That's, that's not anything else. That is, historically, we got there first. We need that again. We need that again. Do you feel like this is going too far into the political um, correctness or not Absolutely. trying not to offend anybody Absolutely. sort of thing that that's, we're at, that's where we're silly. at these days? That's silly. By, by, look, I'm going to tell you, one of the greatest stories about political correctness is the Speedy Gonzalez story. <laughs> okay, so Warner Brothers, in 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 their you know in, in all their like wisdom, said, "Oh, Speedy Gonzalez is a very racist Mexican cartoon about this Mexican mouse who runs around really fast to get the cheese." So they decided, <laughs> "Okay, you know what? Let's ban it." You know what happened? The Mexicans got fucking pissed. <laughs> they were like, "We love Speedy Gonzalez. What the hell are you guys doing?" So that is the danger in being too political yeah. correct that you end up pissing off more people than you think you're protecting. Yeah. yeah. Just it, let things be what they are. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this, about them leaving this out. I, I, I think I have to see the movie first before I really pass a judgment on it. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where I'm at. William, yeah. come on, man. What do you think? I, uh, I have two thoughts. One's Devil's Advocate. Um, we didn't really get to the moon as a, a United States. We had Nazis that helped us, and that's the truth. Mm. Uh, NASA is built on their ideas, so we can can that shit. Here to reveal a plan for a trip around the moon is the chief of the guided missile development at the United States Army's Redstone Arsenal, Dr. Werner von Braun. A voyage around the moon must be made in two phases. A rocket ship taking off from the Earth's surface will use almost all the fuel it can carry just to attain a speed great enough to balance the pull of gravity. 400,000 <laughs> people <laughs> but behind I, this mission. I am proud to be an American, and it was America yeah. that did it. Not America, but the United States. And the space race is one of the greatest moments in human history, and that was built upon a, a fight with another country. And to leave out the main reason why we went there and the main reason why we're not going there anymore or even doing anything like that is because we're not in that fight is is just a shame to the entire memory of it. Mm -hmm. And to not show that flag it planted is that I don't care if he crashed 18,000 planes into a freaking desert to get there. That was only part of what was already going on as a bigger picture, which was our Cold War with Russia. And so in that respect, I think that we need another Cold War. So if you would <laughs> like to... Uh, you know, <laughs> get pissed at us and start uh, Putin. I'm talking to you. Like we need another cold war because so much technology came out of that. Um, yeah. And we're just stagnant right now. So well, let me, let me tell you this and see if this has any bearing on your thoughts at all. Apparently there was a debate, uh, back when this happened, whether or not Neil Armstrong should plant the, um, United Nations flag or the American flag. And apparently he didn't really have a preference. So does that do anything for you? No, I don't no. care. Okay, but there there was an American flag planted on yes, there. Yes, there was. And to prove it, yeah. uh, when Superman goes to the moon, <laughs> right. he In sees the that one. shit there. <laughs> right. So listen, you right. know, it's good enough for Superman. For it's good enough for him. That's All right, right. Last one, very quickly. Yeah, cool. uh, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, was pushed back an entire year, reportedly so the production can plan the film's flight sequences. Uh, 
does this mean that the Navy is actually going to let Tom Cruise fly a jet himself? Why not? Why not? He can do it. He, let him he's do a it. pilot. He's done everything else. Let he him do flies it. Flies helicopters well, by himself. Yeah, he's he's a pilot. He already flies helicopters. He flies planes. He designed the the bubble ship in <coughs> Oblivion, which was amazing. The Did Oblivion, he design that? Yeah, and and the Oblivion director is directing Top Gun. Yes. So he's already on board with the whole flight thing. They're already a team is like as far as like avionics and stuff. Yeah. He's gonna fly the jet this time. You think so? Oh, I know I so. I yeah. I know. I think so, that'll be interesting. But I don't think that this thing got pushed back because of that. I think it got pushed back because they started bringing on so many actors that the scheduling conflicts yeah. became an issue. Yeah. And then you had. I had. Yeah. My theory is also uh, that could, that could very well be a theory too. I, it's probably all of these things. Yeah. To be honest well, with the you. speculation. The spe- I mean. It's all we're all speculating. Let me spit um, the camera. <laughs> so the other thing is uh, maybe uh, if anybody's seen video of Val Kilmer lately, he's still having a little trouble recovering from mm. his throat cancer Brutal. he's not very he's not speaking very well yet so maybe this extra year is also to help him recover and get his voice back a little they, bit they got him on ice right now ice man dude it's bad it, you feel bad for the guy i mean i really do feel bad for well, the guy. yeah after yeah. seeing that video I, I was, what does he sound like but you're gonna double my son all you have to do <laughs> all you have to do is plus make, a per diem this work. and per diems and per diems a little bit of homework. Oh, yeah. poor, yeah. Poor so, guy, man. Oh, no, that's so, not good. So that could be a reason why he's getting pushed back, or one of the reasons it's getting pushed back. So we're hopefully, we, you know, we wish him a speedy recovery, for okay. sure. And All that's right. the news. That's it, guys. So Ben Affleck is uh, drunk, and uh, Val Kilmer is suffering from throat. He's recovering. He's recovering, he's recovering from yeah. throat cancer. It's a rough, rough week, man. And uh, Tom Cruise is probably going to die flying a jet. So we had that. Nice. And Alec Baldwin <laughs> is not in the Joker. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> and Juan Keem Phoenix says he doesn't give a shit when Hey, and that new it. Eminem album is the oh, shit, by the way. Right. Yeah, by, uh, it's got the Venom song on it. Dude, he's raping the alphabet with this one. I, he, he was. He was calling, he called out the entire rap industry in the good, very first song good. of the album. The, the rap world right now oh. is in shambles. Lil shambles. Pump, Lil Xan, Anything Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne. These all little shits, Lil Suck. Lil Lace. M. Lil M's going to come out. Lil Eminem. Lil. Lil Greg, Lil JJ. No. Nah. Little WDM. A <laughs> little bit. I think he's got some uh, syrup and lean I think in he's a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> little nuts. All right, guys. So that's it. That's our Miscast News episode. And uh, as usual, head on over to our channel. And if you like the episode, hit the subscribe button. Share it with your friends. And hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you can get notified of all future episodes. And... And as always, head on over to Teespring. There's a link in the bottom. I'll, p- I'll throw a promo code in there. It'll be active for three days. Get some of that miscast merch. Some of that lovely, lovely miscast merch. Miscast merch. Buy it. We need money. I, I like the sound of miscast merch. Miscast merch. It's lovely. Yeah, I think we a should. Rolls off the tongue. It does. I think we should just make a shirt called miscast merch. Yeah. Yeah. I got miscast merch. Why not? I got miscast merch. merch. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. And if you want any of this cool equipment, I got links down there for that, too. And as far as everything else, uh, that's going to do it for us this week. And we'll see you next time. Peace. There, there is no question. There is no question that obviously it should be addressed and it should be addressed strongly. And, hey, listen, we all run a company. My father runs a company. You know, we take this. That is a absolute no-go um, anywhere. And, and, and that's very much the case.